PSV must stop being seen as a criminal enterprise. PSV is not a criminal enterprise. It is a source of job creation and livelihoods. Ada mimi wala wana jo magariza imara ni likuwa naendesha. Hapo wafia center. Nikiwa mtoye kazangu likuwa kuzizongesha mbele. But that is how I learned. And I have my friends who are still there. So it is not a criminal enterprise. Kaya imeza governor. Ni enterprise ya maana sana. So this partnership must continue. And I'm imploring upon our national police as well. Tujaribu kuangalia na machota fauti. As county, nimesikia malalamishi ya enforcers. Vile wanawadandia. Mungia kwa magari. You record for me. Send to me. That person will go home. Nitumie mimi. Sawa sawa. And a few of them will be an example. Because things can't go on like that. Impunity ni mekata. Impunity ni mekata. Si mutakuwa na hizo komiti zenu? Si mutumie corridor person? Anitumie? Sawa sawa? Just show me those. We'll make examples of them. Because this city has gone down the drain kwa sababu ya impunity na ufisadi. Leo ni maintadict officers watatu wa Nairobi County. Kwa sababu ya nyumba kwa nguka kasarani, nyumba first ilikuwa haina makaratasi, inapanda mbaka sixth floor na kuna watu wangu wapo wanaangalia. Seven people are feared dead because of so moja ama so mbili. Na kuna officer hapo ambaye anafaa kufanya compliance. How much money is worth someone's life? 2016 tukio uruma. I remember nililala hapo siku tatu. Watoto 47 walikufa. Na mama zao. Because of somebody accepting a bribe. Impunity will end in Nairobi. We must have order. Na nimeongea na DCI. I have spoken to the DCI yesterday and today. I have given him my report. Even the owner of that building must be charged with murder. Because that is murder. Walu watu mumi hapo ni watu wadogo ambao wanatafuta riziki yao. That morning NCA went there wakasema hii site ifungwe watu watoke. Lakini sasa watu wamekuja mboka. Wakarudi ndani kuna msichana anaitwa Njeri wa kuuza chakula. Demokrasia anajulikana. Amekufi hapo ndani because of negligence. So we will not accept it. And there is no one who is going to be above the law in Nairobi. So hata kama sako yako imekuwa super sako in the last 5 years or 10 years today all sakos in Nairobi are equal and you will all follow the rules and we will all follow the rules and the rules will be fair this is how we are going to be coming up with the rules every quarter tunaka tunaangalia progress and we move the next step and chairman transport thank you very much I look upon you because kuna legislative interventions we need to do with you. A proper transport policy. Even a policy for fares. Ili fare sikuwe tu just arbitrary. But we can do a system such that ngata ikipanda, fare inapanda by a certain percentage. So, no watu wasione ni kama you're being unfair to them. Sindu yo? Such that there's a, there's, a, there's a pricing formula ata mwana nchi wakawida atajua siya tukumenyesha mukafanya times three. Alafu kiata kunyesha inabaki hapo. Ngata ikipanda, it's automatic vile inapanda. Ikishuka, pia bayi ishuke. Let us take care of these people of Nairobi. They depend on us. Siyo ni sawa? That will form part of the agenda at our next meeting. I've always said, if you're not on the negotiating table, you're on the menu. Mutoke kwa menu, mkuje kwa meza. You have to choose whether to be on the table or to be on the menu. What are my three or five kwa menu? Na hii mambo wati graffiti na mziki kwa matatu ati wanasema ni mbaya. Iyo ni ufala ya zamani sana. Mama three, check it. It's part of our culture. Na wata nuwapati story. Kuna wakati graffiti ilikuwa imebaniwa na serikali. Iyo siku nakumbuka nilikuwa, I think I was a nominated MP. Nikenda Isich kwa beshte yangu Moha Graphics. Vilenda kwa Moha hapo hivu, nilipata there was a delegation from the Ministry of Tourism of South Africa who have come to see what is this graffiti culture we have. Sisi nona nikitumbaya, but the whole world wants to see it. 
si tume group tukiwa na mama 3 namba 6 namba 9 kina tupak shakur kina nani that is part of our culture so kama mtu anataka matatu haina mziki angoje aingie ile ina mziki na kama mtu anataka ile kona ngoma si ndio hiyo kama mtu anataka ile kona ngoma aingie ile kona ngoma but what i will urge you don't play obscene music Musiake ma video watu wako uchi mtu ameingia hapo na mtoi wake. Na e, jamii ni kweli na utu na heshima. Zingine zinacheza mpaka mapono. Hapana. Hata kama ni usiku saa ngapi let us be decent people. This nganya awards ya mama 3. Mimi mwenyewe naongeza sakaja award hapo. That I will also be rewarding the circle that is best performing ambayo iko na the best discipline ambayo imeleta domingi mimi pia nitakuwa na award na kila mwaka tunawapatia zawadi because we must because we must we must encourage those who are doing well sio hiyo so part of this year's Nairobi festival pia hapo ndani kuna nganya awards cho kile mathiri imepambwa fiti ile iko na discipline even the public can vote for courtesy train these young people kwa mama three hii mambo tumeona watu wana hang sijui wanarukaje those crazy things mcontrol sawa mcontrol because hauta job pale nitakuwa mimi nikiona gari inafanya hivyo allow me to take action i will take action directly on that particular establishment that particular vehicle so so that i don't bore you with the many more things nimezungumza na wavinyandeti pia nimepigia wa matangi wa vinya is in Egypt she's coming back amesema hii mambo itatuliwe by Monday pia wa matangi nakutana naye kesho mambo ya gashie na if there's any other issue ambayo mko nao ya kiambu pia kajado ah sasa mtasema Kenya mzima kizi pia so Yes. Eh za metropolis tutaka pamoja. Hizo tutazisort because there's many things we want to do together. Na unajua watu wetu wengi mchana wako na hii, jioni wako Ronga, wako Kiambu, Ruaka, wapi wapi. So Nairobi those those counties are our bedroom. So we must be able to also agree on how um, we can how we work. So in that team that we're going to set up once you've done the mchagwana kwa kila corridor pia NTSA thank you so much DG thank you so much NTSA we will want you as well there to send represent uh, representation we will have our enforcement and we will have the police so that what we agree we do the engineers have also been tasked uh, na wako hapa and engineer Karanja to in the next week to go to each and every major corridor together with yourselves map out proposed stages na hizo stage ideally is kuwa pale kuna foot bridge ambapo kama ni bridge foot bridge kwa hapo kuna stage mtu anashuka na anapanda nimesema kila mali ambapo tunajenga soko Nairobi kutakuwa na stage in all the 20 markets there will be a serious stage ambayo magari pia zinaweza kaa hapo kidogo zikichukua watu because that is a commercial area and you must all benefit from that So we are going to masoko 20. So starting with now Kangundo Road, we'll see what we do at that new market uh, and many other areas. Hii ya kura na Kenya tumeongea nao, hii UST lazima to sort out. Na lazima warudisha barabara ya Mombasa Road vile ilikuwa. Ukiona sasa hizi vile me flood. I have spoken to the Kenya Director General yesterday. Hapa hata between hapa uh, tao tu between uh, GPO na university we, you can only use one lane ju barabara yote iko maji yeah areas mingi ziko hivyo down Mombasa road so they must re return it and to provide stages na lazima wajue ku provide stage you actually helping the citizens si matatu unasaidia it's safety so please george also you coordinate with my guys because now you know the safety standards the distance from uh, the next stage it should be to see but bebe ni kwa stage sasa tumezitengeneza usikuwe na lawama if i provided it for you najua kama kawangwari kuna hiyo shida barabara ilitengenezwa 
hii kwenda 46 huko juu now if you're collecting or picking and dropping elsewhere mzilie tuki deal because there must be order na wengine hata kama kuna stage unapata mtu amesimama at the edge hapa ndo block matatu zingine stage mbele iko wazi why would you do that finally your program mesema ya in fact not finally vile mlikuwa mna clear tao eh your decongestion please within the committee give me a proper plan around that we will support it as a county that we will support so at mfanye na marshals wetu kuzi clear juma na juma gari zenu si ni sawa if that system worked before let's let's support it na jo ilianza afu ikakatika because kulikuwa kuna hata official way of paying those young people so tufanye kitu structurally that's why I have my mcs kiogora kwa hapa kago the, the chairman of transport if we do it within our law it will be sustainable is kwa tinaendelea sasa ile sakaja anajisikia na zile ajisikii na simama iwe ni sheria yetu imesema tufanye hivyo pamoja na nyinyi sawa sawa najua mmesema mambo ya kupunguza hiyo bay um, we will consider of course it can't go to the level it was time ya covid hata nyinyi mnajua hivyo hiyo covid ilikuwa nusu juu ya capacity ilikuwa imepunguka but we will reduce it that one i can assure you there are a number of things that we are looking at the, at the finance bill ambayo tutakuwa tuna propose amendment to finance bill ilisha pita ya 2022 2023 definitely in the next one we will reduce it significantly but between now and then munionesha nyinyi pia muko na ability of roping in the others sana sana zile azikujitao na wale ambao walipi so tumesema around 10000 munisaidie kwa roping